guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you want to see all of our new inventory every week, please hit that subscribe button. We get new cars in daily. Hit the like button. Appreciate you checking us out. Let's go. What is up, guys? Rob here with Bob Evans Classics. I got a real nice looker here for you today. 1967 Chevrolet Camaro Convertible. We're going to do a full walkthrough of the vehicle so you know exactly what you get before you buy it. So when it shows up, you know what you got. We're going to go over the good, the bad, and if there's any ugly, go over each and every panel. If you like our videos and want to see all of our classic cars, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button right now. And I need you to do me a favor, guys. Please, right now, go in the comment section, leave a comment. What's your favorite car? What do you want me to go out and chase and buy? I want your input on the cars I need to go out and buy. So this is a 67 Camaro, first year. V8 327, it's got the 300 horsepower, automatic transmission. We'll start off on the driver's side. This fender here, you got one little paintless dent removal that needs to be done. I don't know if you see that, but it looks like it got a little nick there by like a shopping cart or something. You can barely see it. Only at an angle. The rest of the fender is nice. I don't see any bubbling. You got a little flaw there in the paint, a little chip. Tires. I would say are probably 80% right here in the front. Got the rally wheels. Come over here to this door. Gaps look good. A little flaw there. That looks like dirt. A little chip there. One right there. Right there and there. Rest of the door looks good. Let's see how she shuts. We'll actually look in the inside here real quick. Got the full VIN number right there. Perfect. Shuts good. If I don't slam it, it kind of doesn't shut all the way. Let's see if we throw it a little harder. That shuts good. I don't have to slam it. I mean, I can just put a little weight on it. If you don't put too much weight, it doesn't shut at the bottom. But it's not bad at all. It's not where you have to pick it up or slam it. Back here looks good. I see no flaws there. That all looks good. If you look at the paint, you could definitely see my reflection. I would probably say this paint is an 8 out of 10. Uh, just a nice... Uh, polish on it would do justice and make it nice back tire is less than the front i would say it's about 40 percent the middle's definitely got somewhere up here the ends are good but i would say in the next probably year or two you would want to replace the back tires if you're burning rubber rear quarter looks good you got some dirt here some of these are chips like that one there that's dirt there not bad at all look at the gaps here gaps seem to be nice in the trunk it's a little imperfection in the paint there the rest of it's good rear chrome looks good a little scratch there yeah it looks good little ding right there as you can see looks like they hit something back into something with a little scratch not terrible couple little flaws there the quarter's good body lines are good and i do say the biggest flaw of the car is going to be right here you can see here in the paint got a little bubble here it's not rust but it's look like it's bubbling i don't know if you can see that on camera that's the biggest flaw and you can only see when you get up up on it you got this here a couple little scratches here this is the worst part of the car right here in this little quarter see how this door shuts 
Uh, that door shuts really good. Probably better than the driver's door. A little scratch right there. Gap looks good. And when I say gap looks good, I'm looking for evenness, you know, I'm not looking for how, how much the gap is. I'm kind of looking just to make sure all the way across it's even, the thickness on it. Whether it goes down and narrows out, or it's nice and even. This tire as well is at 40%. Here's another question for all my car guys. What separates a 67, 68, and 69? What's the most notable differences? I've asked that before and not a lot of people have commented. Are we losing our car guys that have this knowledge? Front tires good. So front tires are, are eight out of 10, I would say. It's the rear tires that are gonna need to be replaced in the next year or two. And it's most likely because, you know, rear wheel drive, driving it, burning the backs up if you're getting on it little flaw there as well the hood you got this right here I see I see one over there uh, little flaw right there the front looks good chrome looks good this is pretty sweet right here little flaw right there and there but I'm nitpicking this car finding all the little stuff on it it's a stands really well it looks really good you could easily take this car to shows without a problem put a nice uh, polish on it and make it a show car i mean i don't know if it'll win shows but you can definitely go there and hang with the big boys I, in my opinion i think it's a cool looking car you'll have a lot of people that'll comment on this car and talk to you about it and especially it being a convertible convertible top is in great condition back window it's not broken or cracked or ripped this is all solid take a look at under the car undercarriage is also in great condition I don't see any flaws on it I don't see any rot any rust nothing on this side suspension all that kind of looks new too Same thing with this side, no surprises, no issues. I see a little oil coming from the oil pan screw. That needs to be tightened up. But other than that, I don't see any transmission fluid under it or nothing like that. Solid, solid car. Let's go ahead in on the inside and then we'll open up the trunk and open up the hood. Okay, door panel seems to be in really good shape. I don't see any tears or rips. Carpet seems to be solid, no rips, no tears, all nice. Upholstery is nice. Both seats, back seat, underneath headliner of the top looks to be in decent shape. I don't see any cuts or tears. Yeah, solid, solid. I don't see anything that stands out that's like, ugh, an eyesore. Horn works. That's awesome. Now, it looks like it was originally an AC car because you do have cold here. It does have an aftermarket Bluetooth radio. Now, I did test, I will test them at the end, the turn signals and everything. Everything works except for the inside part of the left turn signal. That doesn't show, but it does work. I noticed that when I bought it, when I drove it. Inside of the trunk looks nice. Comes with the car cover. This is all solid. You got the spare here. You got the cover for the top here. 
I don't see any rod, any rust, or anything that just stands out that's crazy. I don't see any of that, which is good. Shot's nice. This car just front looks so nice. And we'll look at the engine. All right, so we got power disc brakes, power steering, Edelbrock manifold. Looks like new carburetor. A lot of stuff looks new here. The frame rails all look good. It really looks good. It's a solid, solid car. I usually don't find them in really good condition like this unless they're super show cars. Here's your tag there, Cal tag. So all you VIN decoders can check that out. So 12467 car. So originally a V8 car and it's a Ohio car and the paint code matches everything. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Let's fire it up. Fires right up, showing 75,619 miles. Gas gauge works, radio works. Engine sounds good, no shaking, no rattling. I might tighten up one of the belts there. But besides that, this is a solid, solid, solid car, guys. Left turn signal works. Both lights work there. Right turn signal, bam, works. Up front works, check out the lights. Lights work. It's a solid car, guys. I'm a one-man show today, so let's do our best. Go on a test drive together and see how it drives. All right, guys, one-man show today, so bear with me on this test drive. Brakes feel great. Brakes feel too good, this is awesome. They really feel like a new car. What do you guys think about the exhaust? It's kind of growing on me. It's, I kind of like a little bit more graspy, but some people like the way this sounds. Shifts through all the gear is good. Going 50, it's holding the road pretty good. I'm not, you know, it's kind of going straight. We're on a turn right now. Let's see if we can see how the alignment is. I don't hear any sounds, any noises besides wind noise. Got a little pull to the right. It's not real bad at all. Hit the brakes, it stops good. Definitely quieter than most classic cars with the suspension. Suspension feels real good. It's got good response in the throttle.
definitely impressed. I will be honest. This is a lot of car. Power steering is just so nice. Definitely drives good. This is a solid cruiser, guys. That's what I would definitely consider. It's a great looker, solid driver. This is what a classic car is supposed to be, for sure. Definitely happy with the test drive and impressed with this car. If you're interested in buying it, please let me know. We are near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We can fly you out here to Trenton, New Jersey, which is the nearest airport, or Philadelphia International, pick you up, or we can ship it directly to your house. We are the Amazon of classic cars. We have shipping directly to your doorstep. Go on BobEvansClassics.com to see all of our posted inventory if it has not sold. Guys, do me a favor also, join our Instagram channel because I go out and chase classic cars all day. I'm pretty much picking up cars daily and I post it to that. So a lot of stuff I get in sells right away on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I am a classic car chaser that happens to have a car dealership that sells classic cars. But appreciate you checking out our page. Appreciate you guys so much. God bless you. God bless the USA. I appreciate all of our veterans, everybody that loves this country because I certainly do. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you later.